Hey guys, it's your host, Big Pojo here. As requested, y'all wanted a video on how to make bobber stops. This is that video right here, so don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Watch this video. Peace. Okay guys, if you want to make your bobber stops, first you'll need coffee stirrers. You can get all these op objects at Walmart. We got the coffee stirrers, the straws. And then go to the yarn section and you can get these. These are 43 cents. I forget exactly what these are called, but you can definitely get these at the yarn section. They come individual. That's one whole line of string. So you're just basically pulling them off and cut in line. So I'm going to show you me putting the string on an actual straw, making an actual bobber stop. And then we're going to do a, a bigger version so you guys can see a little bit better. There's my straw. Let me cut line and let's get started. Okay, we got a straw. We got a line. Uh, about eight inches or so. You line your line up. Line it up with the straw. You want the straw on the bottom. You bring the string around your hand like so. And then you're making an overhand. Bringing it through. You're going over the straw and underneath the straw in the string. And you're doing this as many times as you please. Me, I do that like five times. I have done knots with only three. They work just as well. So, like I said, go over. Somebody told me that this takes a long time. It really doesn't. You just have to have patience. Make a bag of six of them. You don't need to make a bunch of them, but I'm sure you're not fishing with slip knot, slip bobber rigs on all your poles, but you may be fishing with some of most of them. So we pull that nice and tight, get that nice and snug. And there we go, guys. We have our first bobber stop knot. I take my scissors. I cut off some extra tether to my line. This yarn that I found is just thick enough for mono line. So if you're using mono, I don't really use braid, guys. So there you go. That's the bobber stop. Now, what I do is I slide it down to the end so I don't waste straw. And then I clip a piece of straw down. And there you go, guys. A bobber stop works perfect. I haven't even took any of mine off my poles. Once I put them on, they go right through the guides just fine. So let's do a big version so you guys can see it up close and get a little better view. All right, got our big straw. Like I said, you line the line up just like that. Make sure your string is on the bottom of the straw. Bring your line together. Overhand. Over the straw, underneath the line. Over the straw, underneath the line. Over the straw, underneath the line. Take this line. Pull it tight to the left. That will cinch everything down. And clip off your tether. Just that quick, guys. Bobber stop knot. Now, I will be using these on my bank poles, too, so I can use bobbers on the bank poles. That's a new uh, technique I want to show. I haven't seen anybody try putting bobber, uh, catfish bobbers, Muddy River catfish and bobbers on bank poles, but I'm going to do that. And we're going to use a specific knot with paracord. So that's how you tie a bobber stop knot for your fishing rods. Thanks for watching Big Muddy Catfishing. This is your host, Mr. Bank Poe Joe. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button in your bottom right-hand corner, guys. Don't forget, follow Big Muddy Catfishing with Bank Poe Joe. Thanks for watching. Peace.